In this video we're going to look at some Blackboard Grade Center tools that you can use to efficiently process and finalize your results. I've set up Grade Center with some sample results. So if I scroll down to the control panel and select Grade Center, full Grade Center, we just have a quick look. So there is 10 quizzes. an assignment, an exam. So there's two columns for the exam results, one for the MCQ and one for the short answer. I'm going to use a total column to add up the quiz results. So if I go create calculated column and total column. So I've got a column name in there, total quizzes. If this name was quite long I could add an abbreviation that only displays in the Grade Center to staff. Um, so if I go down, I'm going to uh, display the score. I'm also going to select the percentage, and this doesn't show to students, but it's a really good way of checking that there's no errors. I'm going to choose Select Columns and Categories. Now even if you actually are using all the columns in your Grade Center for the total, I wouldn't actually select it. I always double check by using this option here and making sure you've got exactly the right columns. So I'm just going to highlight the 10 quizzes. I'm going to check the points possible and just make sure that they were worth 10 each as I was planning that there. Now calculate as a running total. This is really important. I'm actually, you should actually select no. I'm going to not select no and show you the problem that occurs so you know that if you see it. So I'm just going to press submit and there's my total quizzes. Now I don't actually want that column there. I'm going to actually rearrange the columns. So I'm going to go manage, column organization, I'm going to move the total quizzes results uh, right up to the top. So it's there, and I'll press Submit. Now I'll show you the error that comes if you don't select No for running total. So this student has got a result of 15 and 75%. So how did that actually happen? Because they've only done a couple of quizzes and they haven't completed the rest. If you don't select running total as no, it doesn't actually count the non-submissions as zero. It actually counts them as, it excludes them. So instead of getting a result out of the whole 10 quizzes, it's giving them the percentage and the result out of the only, only the two that they have done. So I'm going to go in and change that and choose edit column information and make sure I have selected calculators running total no. So all those non-submitted quizzes will now count as zero and you can now see that this student's only got 15 percent. So the assignment here I'm just going to show you quickly one thing you should check with all of your assessment items is the points possible is set correctly and that's also why I use a percentage. So this was actually marked out of 60 and you can see the percentage is there. So I'm just going to go in here, click and choose edit column information and just double check the points possible is correct. So yes, I've set the points possible. A common error is people put the points possible in zero and then they have lots of errors with the percentages and the calculations. So always double check the points possible. I'll just press submit. I'm also going to check the exam. So with the exam it's been set up is the short answers are in one column and the results. 
it's out of 70. The MCQ in another column is out of 30 and they've been, there's a total column to add them up. Now with the MCQ questions, um, if you've got a bubble sheet that's marked by machine, you get the spreadsheet back. The spreadsheet will actually upload directly to Grade Centre and automatically add the results in, so you don't need to type them in. There's a separate video on how to do that. Um, my quick tips with this is, again, I would check the points possible is cr in correct in both columns. It also should turn on the percentage to show as a double check. I'm now going to add in uh, the final results column. So I'm going to go create total column and choose weighted column. Um, I'm just going to do a score and show the percentage. And make sure you select the correct columns. So what the total quizzes column which is worth 20% of the overall result. I want the total exam column, which is worth 50% of the overall result. And I want the assignment column. Now, by the way, if you've got any legacy columns and you're a bit confused, because I've got this legacy column assignment too, and I had another one called assignment. I actually went back in and labeled, renamed that assignment 2017. So I knew, just to check I had the right column. So I put that one in and that assignment is worth 30%. And I've just clicked away out of that column. Check the weighted top column is 100%. Again, calculate running total as no and press submit. Now, something I probably should have done before, and you probably might have noticed, is these columns are actually all showing to students. So I should have actually chosen hide from students. You can tell a column is hidden by students because you get this little icon, a circle with a red line. If you want to re-show the results to students, you can turn that off. So you might need to make sure all the appropriate columns are hidden. And the final thing I'll do with those results is I'll actually make, put all the final columns together. So I might just, um, I'll turn the video off and reorganize them. Now you may from this point want to just um, upload to Signet. So you can actually use a Signet merge tool. So you download the Signet spreadsheet and you use the uh, tool Signet Merge. It'll actually um, add the results to the end of the Signet spreadsheet which you can then download. And then you might want to put a formula in or just manually calculate, calculate the grades. But you can also use a grading schema to automatically allocate grades for you.